You're under arrest. Why me? I'm a good guy here. Let's go. I got a more important job to do than talk to you, officers. I have respect, but I'm the superhero here. Intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you. So are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all of this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. Okay, another fight. Down. Up. Right, and now E. Shoot plus E. We got it, Brutal. Oh, my leg! Sorry, girl. I usually don't fight with girls, but you're a really naughty one. How cool this gadget is! <laughs> oh, really nice, Catwoman. Really nice. Oh wait, no. Oh, I got it in the last second. Mr. Gordon, wait. Wait, wait, wait! Do not shoot. Finally, clever one. Now Q, and now we go with this and this and this. She's like a gymnast, but I'm better. Okay, right. And now E, and now E again. Let's take this. Let's now kill her. Well, I'm, I don't want to kill a cat because she's cool, but has huh, huh? Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. God damn it! I said don't shoot! No! Wait! So again, the cops are guilty or what? Ah, yeah. Let's jump down, cause I am a champion, man. Look at me, like a Superman. But I am Batman. Okay, last second chance. No, no, don't go down. Don't go down, Bat. I don't, I just don't wanna see her dead, so let's save her life. Just as I did. We had done a great job, guys. We saved the girl. 
<laughs> okay. Guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake. Mm, okay, let's see. Talk or what you want to this? Or I drop you. But you won't. You're not that kind of guy. Okay, okay, all right. I bet. <laughs> Oh my Batman <laughs> And she stole your gadget My Batman Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then Time to save the city. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Core Gamer Eleven, AK Batman, AK Bruce Wayne, AK the guy with millions, well, or maybe even with billions of dollars. Thank nice you. to meet you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement, and even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. <laughs> if only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. I'm not the... Uh, okay. Enjoy my wine, it's expensive. No, welcome to Wayne oh, Manor, of Wayne course. Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you, thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. This guy reminds me so much on Let's Make America Mr. Great Wayne. Again. Thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire. Okay, uh... So the sooner we make nice with the donors... Doing something is important. ...leave you alone. Relax, it was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, I do too. What, a chance to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? Say it ain't so. It's called playing the game, Bruce. And tonight, if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. Look, okay, I'm doing so this for Gotham. Put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. And now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. I and your face, like but now hope in, is in Harvey Which put for the record, the, I have not been Okay, and your face is forgotten. Why not? It's nice. How about, uh... It's casual, but nice. For Gotham. Hmm? Look at you. That's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Pause. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. 
I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead okay, this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. <laughs> I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like okay, this depends. Batman. I'd say it all depends on the man. Sometimes you need a person who will go off script. Such as dressing up in a bat costume? And taking out the criminals who ruin our city. Though the cape may be a bit much. <laughs> now, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Uh, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, okay. Uh. Well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Okay. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party. Okay. Before all the champagne runs out. Are you allowed to host? Okay. Everyone loves the host. You're king for a day. Just a day? Well, <laughs> I would have guessed Bruce Wayne has that feeling year-round. Yeah, well, I take nights and weekends off. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... Is that blood? Yeah. Okay. It looks like... Okay, just the wine. Why not? Spilled some wine. <laughs> it, it'll come out. Well, stick to clear alcohols, Bruce. I never stain. Okay, this was Do awkward. Me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Oh, who's this? Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything 
except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick okay. him out. Okay. I uh, requested to speak with you directly. This doesn't look good. Jesus, Harvey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Let me worry about that. A word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Okay. Though the decor offends my eyes. You can see. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Hey, <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Okay, I refuse. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. I can be a rude guy, obviously. As you should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill at... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts oh. to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink, have a talk. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Thank you, sir. Seen and not heard. Whatever ah, you... Ah, what did I say? Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law... And there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. Okay. The man talks too much. Chaps my face with words. Well, I would say you can uphold the law and still do what's right. To a point. No one gets remembered for staying in the middle. Uh, Mr. Falcone, I... No more warnings. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. Okay, uh... I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can... Let's talk. Why not? Under. Okay, imagine, this is me, and these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move, and I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now, that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. 
The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Okay. Yeah. Let that sink in. It's nice that we understand each other. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Hey, I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh... <laughs> I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. While this city's still standing. Okay, so this is it. Thank you for watching this video, guys. It was an amazing experience for me, personally. Thank you. Tomorrow, a new game. Grand Theft Auto 5. Man, something new is coming. A new part of my channel. A new something. I have a, a lot of uh, some things to also to do. So see you tomorrow. Okay, we have more of this. Oh man. Okay, see you tomorrow. The new this. I just can't wait then. All right. Bye bye, guys. We'll see you with this tomorrow. But I have a two completely different videos it's for me. you, except Grand Theft Auto Five. So see you tomorrow. The new this Batman video. Bye bye.